welcome to another week in the workshop where we're getting the uh, race car onto the hoist. And uh, yes, during this week, uh, we're going to investigate what happened at uh, Sandown round two. So we uh, blew an engine. And uh, at this stage, all we know is the, uh, the counterbalance weight on the crankshaft sheared off. So yeah, not good, but that might be a secondary failure. We just need to look at the primary failure. Let's have a look what we've got down here. It's a little bit hard to see, but yeah, you can sort of see the hole in the block there. So there's quite a few bits and pieces down the bottom down there, which doesn't look real good. And the uh, the gearbox is also broken there. You can see we've actually uh, snapped the bell housing, which I'm not happy about. That's very disappointing. But yeah. So look, we'll, uh, we'll get started and start pulling the engine apart and have a look what went wrong. All right, sit back and uh, enjoy the episode.
Okay, so uh, we've now got the, uh, the engine out of the starlet. Pulled it out yesterday. And uh, yeah, just having a look at the uh, damage that we can see. Let me just get a light here. So yeah, the gearbox. As you can see, we've got the, uh, the bell housing is a huge crack. Quite a bit of damage <coughs> inside the actual uh, bell housing. The gearbox turn, throw bearing is also damaged. But the gearbox appears to be not in too bad nick. <coughs> like I said, just the bell housing. All the C50 series gearboxes have got the same bell housing, so I've got plenty of spare bell housing, so we'll get that changed out. <clears throat> so here we go, pull the gearbox apart and have a look. Coming over here to all the uh, all the bits. We can see uh, the piston. Uh, the piston's had a catastrophic failure. It's been shock loaded, so you can see that crack in there. Piston rings are holding it together. So quite amazing, but yeah, we, uh, after looking at all the bits, <coughs> we can just see here the, the bearing caps. So the bearing caps have, have broken, but just looking at that, if I can just get the light, you can sort of see that it's just a catastrophic failure. There's no evidence there or of anything going on. So, but yeah, what we can see here, just with the connecting rod and with the, uh, the big end main. Let me just get a little bit of light on that so we can sort of have a good look at it. And you can sort of see the uh, there's, a, there's that witness mark there, so there's a bit of a line where you can see it's failed. So that's definitely the, uh, the breaking point there. You can sort of see a bit of a fatigue going on there and uh, yeah, she's just snapped off. Oh, amazing. Obviously the block is, is gone. You can see photos of that. And a huge chunk out of the, the corner of that block there is all missing. So we've now Strip the block, got all the bits off it that we need. So the block's now a throwaway. Uses a boat anchor. Sump was extensively damaged. So that's okay. Starter motor. So <clears throat> what's happened is the actual, uh, the crankshaft has snapped off. And so the flywheel, flywheel was bouncing around in the gearbox. The clutch, clutch is all damaged. So I'm not happy about that. So you can see here, all the ceramic has been smashed off. So also around here, all of them, all on that leading edge here as well. So yeah, the clutch, clutch is gone. Throwaway item. The flywheel, so the ring gear is completely knackered on the flywheel. And what's happened is because that flywheel has been <coughs> bouncing around a bit, we can see that the uh, the starter motor is also knackered as well. So starter motor gone, sandwich plate gone. That's not a big deal. Plenty of spares there, but yeah, so quite a bit of damage. Everything else seems to be okay. Thankfully, the uh, this piston was on the uh, on the downstroke when this happened. Thank God. So she's let go on the downstroke. So what that means is uh, we're very lucky to get away with no damage to the cylinder head. So yeah, the cylinder head is uh, undamaged. So really happy about that. That's fantastic. All the cans out, got everything out. So I've got everything sitting here on the bloody trailer, so. 
all the bits off this engine and we can see that I've got about four engines all stripped apart here on bits and pieces on the shell so I'm just going to have to get another shell today and we'll get that all sorted out, clean all this stuff off, off the trailer and salvage all the good bits and yeah, look at progressing our 5V engine, our second 5V engine. But yeah, so that's amazing stuff. A lot of damage. Now, I want to start stripping this gearbox and uh, have a bit of a look what else we can salvage.